Researchers at OHSU say a recent COVID outbreak in Oregon led to a surprising discovery, a virus mutation never before seen in the United States. As Catherine Cook reports, doctors say it's another sign the virus is trying to survive. The virus is, is changing and, and trying to evolve as we're trying to fight the virus. And Dr. So Brian O'Rourke is part of a specialized team at Oregon Health and Science University tracking how the COVID-19 virus is changing in Oregon. Their Oregon SARS-CoV-2 Genome Sequencing Center is studying about 1% of the state's cases. A small sample, but one that led to a surprising discovery about a month ago. The more contagious and deadly variant of the COVID-19 virus, known as B117. Originally found in the UK, it's been spreading across the United States. That we, you know, knew it was just kind of a matter of time before they would enter the U.S. and, and start to spread in our communities. O'Rourke's team shared their findings with the Oregon State Public Health Lab. Further tests revealed another, even more concerning discovery. There were additional mutations happening in that outbreak, including this. Um, E484K mutation. Also known as the EEC mutation. Scientists have found it in Brazil, South Africa, and the UK, but Oregon's case was the first in the US. Doctors believe it happened here spontaneously, a sign that the virus is evolving. Why it's being called by some people EEC is that it might um, allow the virus to have um, some resistance uh, to antibodies. And, um, you know, depending on how much resistant that may make vaccines, you know, less effective at, at preventing uh, COVID-19. O'Rourke says even against virus variants, the vaccine is still effective in preventing severe disease and death. As we aim for herd immunity, he says the most important takeaway from these discoveries is the importance of staying the course, follow COVID-19 protocols, and wear masks in public. If we can keep viral transmission at a minimum, we can really stop these variants of concern from kind of overwhelming um, our country like they've done in, in the UK and South Africa and Brazil. Catherine Cook, KGW News.